Ahotep Queens, I'm Stephanie Sekmina. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to get this full coverage look for acne prone skin using NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in the shade Rich. I struggle with adult acne, which leads to scarring. So this foundation was really amazing at covering the acne hyperpigmentation that I have for only, I think it was, it's $10, I think it is. So this is really good. <laughs> First, I am applying Kiehl's Facial Moisturizer all over my face before my primer and foundation. Now I am going in with Smashbox Cosmetics Primer to fill in my fine lines and pores and to ensure that my foundation lasts all day long. Before I apply the foundation, I am going to add LA Girls Color Correcting in the shade Orange. To cover the acne hyperpigmentation or scarring, just make sure that the scarring won't show through the foundation. So this is a very important step if you have bad scarring left from any acne breakouts. So that way you can have a flawless, beautiful foundation base. So after I apply the color correcting in all of my dark areas, I am going to just blend with the Beauty Blender. So as I am blending out the color corrector um, underneath my dark circles, I like to take the remaining product on top of my eyelids just to blend out any dark eyelids that I may be having. So now I am going in with NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in the shade Rich. So this is orange and I was kind of concerned that I was going to look too orange because you know the orange color corrector was still on top of my skin. But I went ahead and just applied it all over my face and then blended it in and it looks really, really good. It didn't look too orange. So now I am taking my beauty blender and I'm just going to take my time and really, really, really blank, make sure it's blended in. I spent a long time just really pressing it into my skin. It does have a creamy texture to it and it does have shea butter in it. So make sure you're using your primer and make sure you set it with some type of translucent powder or your foundation powder because you, you might get a little shiny in the afternoon, but it's not too bad. So just keep blending. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealer. So now that my foundation is blended in, I'm gonna take LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey to highlight my under eye area, the center of my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and the center of my cheek. No, the center of my chin, what am I talking about? <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and just blend everything out. Now I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend underneath my eye area. And when you're blending this out, make sure you stay above your cheekbone. You want you don't want to drag out the highlight all the way down your face. I prefer to keep it right above my cheekbone. And then now I'm just going to go in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set that under eye area. And then I'm going to move to the other side.
So now that the concealer is blended in my skin, I'm going down the center of my face with Sasha Buttercup. And as I'm wiping away, I noticed that I still had that line left it's because the beauty blender was a tad bit too wet. So I had to go back in and just re-blend the area to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines left over. You want to make sure your beauty blender is not too wet. Now that my highlight is, is blended in, I'm going in with Nika K New York HT Concealer and putting that in the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm going to contour the sides of my nose and I did put it on my forehead but my camera died so you don't see that part. And so I'm just going to blend this all in and then set it with a translucent setting powder. This is Black Opal in the shade Dark, number four. So I'm just placing this translucent powder all over my skin, all over my face, and then I'm gonna go in with the contour powder. So this is NARS in the shade, I pronounced it Gina, so I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'll have it in the description box. And I'm just gonna go in with this uh, kind of a red tone brown contour powder, and I'm just gonna put it all in the areas I wanna contour my face. So now that I finished contouring my nose area, I'm going to go in with a highlight. I, this is a dupe for Max Gold Deposit. I got this from the drugstore as well. And hold on one second, it's a name. So yeah, this is called Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzing Powder in the shade Bronze Glow because there was one that was more yellow, but I like the uh, rose gold tone. So I mean it's turning out nice. I'm not I haven't been a fan of using a highlighting powder because I have oily skin and acne and everything. So I mean it's it's okay. I like it in the center of my face and I'm like keep it slow and just on the like on the highest points of my cheek and it you know it worked out great. So I like it. Now I am adding blush in the shade Toasted Almond in a couple of layers on both sides. This is from Black Radiance and it creates a very subtle blush look. I absolutely love this blush. And as you can see, I am finishing up a simple eye look I created using Urban Decay's Naked Palette. And I'm going to finish off the eyeliner and lashes off camera. So this is the final look. I hope you guys love my full foundation, full coverage routine using NYX Mineral Sticks Foundation. Please like, comment, and subscribe.